Hi there, Shannon Kaylee here with Namology Science. And um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about some of the, the names in the news out there I find um, interesting. I mean, no matter whatever side of the political arena that you sit on um, or what's going on in the news, um, I just find this very interesting. Now, Namology Science also works with everyday words, um, last names, middle names, um, all these different things can play into the name. But um, I'll just I'll just tell you a few things I just saw real quick here as I was as I was going through some of the news feed. So, you know, right now Roy Moore is kind of in the news um, about a lot of different things, and you know they're wondering if he could have if he could have uh, hurt those children. You know, if he is a pedophile or not. Now, you know, I guess we are all proven in, innocent until guilty. But um, I will say in his name it does indicate that he could have been abused. Um, um, at whatever stage of life, uh, I'm assuming as a child, because that's normally when, when uh, abuse is, is written, but it could be abuse um, as in a rape as well. Um, but it does indicate that in his name, so I find that quite interesting. So now you can make your own judgment on whether you think he uh, could have done those acts that some of the folks out there say that he's done. Um, the, the next name I see, I see out there is John um, Conyers, um, and in his name... Um, yeah, there in his name there is a lot of sexual energy in that name as well. Um, he d he does like to be in control. So, you know, what's the possibilities there? I mean, it's up to you to decide. And then one other name, um, Flynn. No, I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh at this name because I I do appreciate his service for our country, and I'm not dismissing that one bit. But it's funny in his name because in his name it says that um, actually has the word lie in his name. Um, and it also says that um, he is an exact exaggerator. He can exaggerate things and around him or whatever story. You know, you know those people who like to, you know, embellish on stories or make them larger than life. Um, and also indicates in his name um, that he actually has a good good memory, a very good memory. So um, I don't know if he has stated that he can't remember anything, but I hope not because. I mean, he definitely can remember. It's in his name. So those are just a few tidbits that you can get from Namology Science. Um, again, you know, I mean, until the verdict is out on these cases, we all don't know. Um, Namology Science has been rated in the high 90th percentile, which I find um, extremely accurate. I mean, um, anybody can learn this. It's not a, um, a magical thing. It's something that is totally learnable, like learning um, body... Uh, when you can read people's like micro uh, uh, facial expressions and um, the body movements and the gestures and you know all that kind of stuff, um, body language um, and micro expressions. There now it comes to me. Um, all those different things um, in a name it will tell you um, about a person. And and yeah, some people may have a day off here and there, but. Um, and like I said, it's in the 90th percentile. Not everything is 100 percent, but. Uh, if I was a betting gal, I would bet on Amology Science. So anyways, um, I just found that quite interesting and uh, I just wanted to share that to give you guys a little bit more insight um, to uh, how to maybe know your neighbor or your boss or um, people who you may suspect of something. I mean, should you judge on the side, you know, uh, because I see it in the name, does that mean that they did it? Not necessarily. But if I see it in the name, does it mean that I think that they possibly could have done it? Yeah. All right, folks. Well, enjoy your day. Again, I still have to get to this Christmas tree. Maybe I'm procrastinating. Funny because that's in my name as well. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.